All right, here's my newest toy here. Um, this is the Old Town Next. All right, it's a 13 foot boat with a 29 inch um, center line. Okay, it weighs about, oh, I don't know, 50 pounds. Not real light for a solo canoe, but light enough. Um, I wanna show you real quick here. Uh, if you look right along the side of the boat here, if you can see that indentation, that's called tumble home. And basically what that means is the water line is gonna be out further than the gunnels, top uh, rail of the canoe. That allows a straighter or more, uh, more of a vertical uh, paddle stroke so you don't have to reach out. It makes paddling much easier. Okay, looking from the top here, again, I've got a nice, nice seat that I can adjust. I've got foot braces, and uh, I've got ample room in the front and behind the seat. It's got a 450-pound payload, which would be plenty for uh, myself and camping gear. And again, between the gunnels, between the gunnel here, gunnel there is 29, 29 inches. Okay, looking from at the bottom of the boat, uh, basically it's a flat bottom canoe, okay, with a keel line. You can see right down the middle, uh, the keel line makes for uh, nice tracking. It'll go straight for a short boat. Uh, it compromises your turning a little bit, but that's okay. Um, again, it's a flat bottom boat, which means it's got a lot of initial stability, meaning it's gonna feel real stable to first at the start. Um, secondary stability, it doesn't have as much because it's a flat bottom boat, meaning basically there's a certain point where you lean, it's a point of no return, you lean it over a little too far and you're going over. All right, um, I got the boat out in the water for the first time and uh we're gonna see how it feels i'm gonna try it out with a kayak paddle and uh i'll let you know how it feels in calm water Okay, uh, I'm going to try with a canoe paddle now, see how it does. All right, um, well I've paddled this thing with both uh, canoe and kayak paddle and I'm traditionally a canoe, canoeer, but honestly the size of this boat, I believe, or the width of this boat, I think you're better to use this thing with a kayak paddle. Um, you don't have any offside, tracks really well. So there's no real correction strokes, especially with this kayak paddle. So um, I think I'd recommend a kayak paddle, but it's a nice little boat. It tracks good. It's a little sluggish on turning, uh, which I expected. I think it'll hold plenty of gear for overnight campouts. So basically, it's just it's just a nice little, just a nice little boat. I recommend it.